everybody. My name is Terry Crews, and you might know me from The Expendables, from Everybody Hates Chris, my brand new show, Are We There Yet? I am here right now with you with Bodybuilding.com to show you the number one back workout that I do, my favorite one. By the time we get done, you're gonna have one of those Cobra backs. You understand what I'm saying? Ah! This is you and me. We working out together today. Turn the music up. Turn your jams up, because we about to hit it. Everyone focuses on the push movements, but you really, to get your back together, you have to focus just as hard on the pull movements. And this is what today is all about. All right, ain't no faking on this one, y'all. Let's do it. You ready? You ready? First thing we're gonna do is start with a five minute warm up on the bike. All right, here we are. I cannot stress the importance of getting a good warm up because man, it gets everything, the blood flowing, the whole deal. You can't run a Ferrari Testarossa straight from zero to 100. You gotta kinda guide your way up. So here we go, we about to jump on this bike, man, and get our warm up on. And you know, you should set the resistance a little high so that you can warm up your legs. If you have a bike where the resistance is between one and 15, one being the easiest, 15 being the hardest, I say you set it between five, six, or seven. You don't wanna go too fast because this is not the workout. This is all about just warming it up. Okay, everybody, our first exercise is the Romanian deadlift. I brought my straps. We're using heavier weight and not going down so far so we can really focus on what this is about, which is your back. I usually start out like 135 as a warm up set, and then I go into four sets of 10 with heavier weight. Make sure your knees are slightly bent and keep your back arched. You do not want to roll your back. Time to get a little break. Get yourself some good old H2O, man. It's the way to go. All right, our next exercise is a good old fashioned pull up. And I use straps just because I wanna focus on my back. The first set of our pull up exercises is the behind the neck, and we're gonna go all the way to failure. You're gonna get about a minute rest, and then we're gonna go right into a one arm pull up. You're gonna take each arm to failure. You basically have a grip on both of them, but you're doing them Focusing on one arm at a time. Switch. And then go to the middle and even it out. Burn it out. Ugh. All right, the next move in our pull-up exercises are the close grip pull-up. Again, it's all the way to a failure. Get your hands in there, and here we go. Really get an extension. All right, nice set. Woo! The last set of these four pull-up sets to failure is just a standard pull-up, just the same ones your grandpapa used to do. Woo! That's it. Oh. Okay. We just got done with our pull-ups. We are headed right over to the squat rack, and this is it. I usually use an underhand grip. Some people like the overhand. It depends on what's comfortable for you. All right. Just got done with the first set. I'm gonna add some more weight, and we're gonna hit the second one right now. We're gonna add a little more weight. We're gonna hit the third one. All right, now we're headed over to the dumbbells. 
So we can get those rolls over there. Now we're moving on to the bent over dumbbell rows. And you want to be really careful. You want to keep your back straight and you want to really feel the, the squeeze at the top. And we're going to do four sets of 10. I'm working with 100s here. I'm, I stay with one weight the whole time. This is all about concentration. You're trying to work on the details. You switch. That's one. We're gonna get a 30 second rest and then we're gonna hit it again. That's two. One more set. Now we're gonna move on to the hammer strength. High row. You're gonna hit a whole nother section of the back. You want that cobra? You gotta pay for the cobra. All right? Now we're moving on to the hammer strength high rows, where we're gonna work the lower section of your lats. The idea is to get four sets of 10, but the last set is to failure, and I add weight each time. Another thing I wanna stress is that a lot of guys use these hammer strengths and they keep their feet on the floor. Here, you wanna make sure that you get your feet up on the post here because if your feet are on the floor, you have a chance of rocking and then knocking this thing over, especially when you get into heavier weight. This keeps you secure, it keeps you locked down. <clears throat> really st stress the back and concentrate <clears throat> on where you want this thing to hit. <clears throat> That's the first set. Time to put some more weight on. We get about 30 seconds rest. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm going to put my last set on. I got five plates going on, and I'm going to fail you. This is it. That's failure. <laughs> okay, we're going to do four sets. Try to get 10 reps, and we're going to add a little bit of weight each time. And this is pretty much the last heavy kind of exercise you're gonna do on your back. I don't go heavy weight with this because we went heavier, but I really want to focus on what you want to hit, which is that middle of your back. Make sure you keep your feet up, good grip, and here we go. So I'm gonna add a little bit more weight. Right. One more to go. I'm gonna add a little more weight, about 30 seconds rest, and we'll hit the last one. That's it. There we go. Now we're over here, over at the back extensions. This is basically a warm down. I do four sets of 10 because we've already done a lot of heavy, heavy motions with our lower back. So now it's all about kind of like warming it down and making sure everything's still in place, you know, after you've already hit it. Let's do some sit-ups. Let's hit it. We're gonna do some sit-ups because with your core, you wanna keep it balanced. You've been working your back so hard. I like to use a ball today because right, right now my back is pretty tight. We're gonna do four sets all the way to failure. I like to keep my arms in front of me crossed and we just crunch it up. Uh. Oh boy, I got a little cramp. I just got a cramp on my first set. And you know, when you're cramping, that might mean failure. That's a good one. We're gonna keep going. Uh, 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 I actually started to drill a little bit. 
Ah. Ah. Woo. One more. The last one of the day, y'all. This is where all the games happen. Fourth quarter. Five seconds left. You get the ball. I got it. Here we go. Let's take it all the way in. Woo! All right, y'all. That's it. You did it. You made it. You got the Cobra back. You're about to bite somebody with it. I'm telling you, thank you for doing this with me. And if you want to incorporate this workout into your daily routine, please check out the page below. I'm Terry Crews, and I'm telling you, for more content just like this, check out bodybuilding.com. Ah, 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 guns are going off. Pow, 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 pow. Ah, ah. What?